You know what guys, I've had enough. I've been bullied with this booster box long enough. This booster box right here, if you haven't seen part number one, this is the darkness that consumes lightness booster box and oh my gosh. We opened up 16 booster packs and got one GX. It's bull- it, we're getting bullied right now. So without further ado, I'm going to show the tops of these uh, 14 different boosters and fingers crossed, inside of this we should at least have a, one, like at least one full art card, but I'm hoping so much that we can somehow pull a rainbow rare. So without further ado, let's get the tops of these ones off and let's do it. I'm so excited. I reckon we got this. Oh, that's right guys. All right, play the Rocky music. Let's get this thing going. Okay, I'm actually gonna destroy this booster box right now. Let's get 14 boost packs going, and I've just got such a good feeling that these are gonna be the greatest 14 packs we've ever opened. If I can get any cards right now, I'm literally hoping so much. Uh, Necrozma and Marshadow. Either one of those in a GX form, a full art form, a rainbow rare, I will take anything. But let's go to Gold Town and have your fingers crossed. I've got a bad feeling that we've got a lot of these hollows already, so... It's gonna... Oh, dude. This happened on the other box, right? We opened up all the boosters on uh, on this side. And then we pulled, I think, maybe five hollows. Maybe, what was it, six? Then when you get to the other side, you've got every single holo card. And we seem to double up. Dude, look at this artwork. That's off, uh, oh, dude, that's the thing off the uh, video game. Do you remember that, like, sort of place? And then you, like, go around the back of there and you can catch a whole bunch of different Pokemon. That was pretty cool. But yeah, like, oh, I don't know, you unbox one side, and the exact same thing happens on the other side. All the same uh, holo cards, regular rares, regular uncommons. And uh, the, the thing that doesn't help it is probably that these booster boxes are so nice to you that you are guaranteed a holo at least one in every two packs. Look at the crazy cool artwork of Pikachu, though. Probably one of my more favorite cards is a common card. But yeah, that also means that we're going to double up on quite a few different holo cards. Again, look at that, another Zygarde holo. His attacks are pretty good, and the artwork is really cool. It's uh, officially Zygarde full form. But yeah, gosh, alright. I, pff, It's not looking good though. The fact that, like, oh, we've just gone through so many, and we still haven't got to, uh, too many ultra rares at all. Got our fingers crossed though, Rhyhorn, another Team Skull Spray. Let's go, come on Necrozma. Dude, out of the two different booster boxes right now though, I'm really leaning towards the other one, because the other one, it's got that Rainbow Rare Charizard. Which I'm also thinking about doing, a search of the Rainbow Rare Charizard. Do oh my gosh. Yo! We pulled this one already, haven't we? Oh my- Three holo cards in a row, and we've literally pulled every single one. Let's keep going. Okay, hold your head up high. It's gonna be alright, it's gonna be alright. This booster box is somehow gonna turn itself around for you, Ando. Think positive thoughts! Willy Wonka and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh, another uncommon. Okay, guys, I need, I need some moral support in the comment section below. Give me your best one-liner. Please improve my mood right now. We're gonna Butterfree. Oh, gosh. Yarn Yoshi. Pokemon Edition right there. And then... Holy... Moly Ravioli. The exact... Same Hollows. You know, at this rate, right? It wouldn't even surprise me if we pulled the same freaking GX card. Look at, this is how I feel after uh, last night's cheesecake meal, but that's, oh, it's not even. We got Porygon, and then we got, oh, Surviper, that looks sick. Yo, he should get a fuller card, how cool would that be? They should remake, in the style of like X and Y and Black and White, they should do a, uh, what is it, Ruby and Sapphire reprint set? I reckon that would be pretty cool. Again, he's been playing Splatoon in his office by the looks of it. But, well, let's keep going. Oh, dude, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! Marshadow! Holy fucking moly, dude! I am completely fine getting this GS card because it looks so dope. Look at this thing. Oh, my... Marshadow is a really, really overlooked Pokemon, and this is like... Bro, it puts you in its face and you're like, holy smokes, this is why I love the Pokemon so much. He's so epic, but he's so tiny at the same time. Mad respect. Look at all the fists around the Pokemon card there, and then we've got the GX attacks as well. What a- oh my gosh, I love it, and his evil eyes. But, this is only a GX card, and the reason I say only a GX card is we've only pulled one other one right. I literally think, in these final five boosters, we're due for at least one full art card, because we're guaranteed one for the all art first edition booster box, and then we're also guaranteed another GX, because that's just the pull ratios. 
they've really, really uh, shuffled up the pull rates in this thing. They're definitely uh, no two boxes the same. For sh oh my gosh, there it is! What the heck? It's Galissa Pod. It's a flipping. Look at the texture on that bad boy. Okay, okay. That is the most insane looking bug I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know if I'm a fan or not. Dude, unlisted leaf energy up the top, all of this green, and then he's like coated in blue. And then look at the, oh my gosh. That is terrifying. If you were scared of insects, just like, just look away. It's alright, I completely understand. But that is one menacing card. I don't say this often, but I really do feel like out of the two different sets, Battle of the Rainbow and uh, Darkness that Consumes Lightness, having like uh, Marshadow here really, really helps the setup because I really do like this Pokemon. But then you got like cards like this, which are like, I don't know, the full art card's a bit, eh. It's alright, it's nothing like too crazy. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Maybe someone like really, really loves this uh, this artwork right here. Don't get me wrong though, absolutely stoked we did manage to get a full art card. But I do feel like having a Charizard Rainbow Rare and a Ho-Ho and then having this, there's no like, there's no real comparison. Okay, so that's our full art card right there. What do we got? Four more boosters to go, fellas. And I reckon, can we do a hat trick? Here we go. Can we call that a hat trick? We can call it a hat trick of three different of the same holo cards because it's our third holo Raichu. Bro, that's just insane. These booster boxes are wild. Okay, here we go. Third to last one. So far, we pulled GX full art holo. Let's keep this roll going. I knew it was going to be pretty good though, this part, because in the last one, we were just hammering through them. Oh gosh, as I say that, regular uncommon. We were, we are just hammering through those packs and just getting nothing at all, like uncommons. One second to last uh, booster, one from the back, so Viper. Hold your head up high, buddy. Bring it home, we've got Porygon and another GX, and it's the uh, regular Gliss spot this time. The artwork, that one looks so epic, and then look at the full art card of him. He's like, he's just chilling. It's like, okay. <sighs> okay, the full art card is pretty epic, I gotta admit. The, what's happening there though, it looks like the Bionicle movie or something. It looks really, something's going down. Which one's your favourite? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Probably the full art card because it has the texture on it. But that's wild. What a, what an odd choice for a GX Pokemon. Although we did have a lot of like, uh, holo love in the previous one. Three different attacks, we got 150, 130 plus there. 210 HP and the Unless Leaf energy. So I think that wraps it up. Last but not least, I'm gonna guess, is gonna be a holo card. And, uh, that's about it. Here we go. Holo card, for the money, it's a regular- Oh my gosh. Look at him. This dude is the- is the dude that greets you at the end of the set. It's time to do 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 Oh dear, oh dear. Alright, let's do a quick recap though. Um, yeah, okay, let's do a quick recap, I guess. Where's the, uh, the holos? We've seen all these holos before, so I feel like we should just do the GXs, and I'll get the Gardevoir as well. So, out of the whole boost box, right, you get your four different GX cards. Minimum, if you get a first edition, you're gonna get a full art as well. But, Gardevoir, Galissapod, the full art flipping Galissapod as well. But my personal favorite is definitely Marshadow GX as well. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below. I really do feel like the choice of Pokemon in this set was really disadvantaged compared to the other set because if you watch my Battle Rainbow one, that has some bangers in it and I literally want to go open another booster box to find the Charizard. And this one's like, it's okay, it's okay. Um, it's going to be a lot better in English with all these sets pushed together into one, which is coming out in like a month and a bit, so definitely get excited. I'll be opening definitely a booster box of that. But uh, I think I'll do a search for the Charizard very soon. If you want to see that, demolish the like button, leave a comment in the comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed this boost box opening. I know I certainly did when I got the full art card finally. It took a while. But most of all, have a fantastic day. But most of all, you're going to keep on gaming. Alright guys, next time, I'll see you then.